We have gotten all the way through our business spotlight. Um, this will be our third business coming in. Mr. Donnie's with us, going to share about his company. And, uh, take it away. You've got about five, seven, eight minutes. <laughs> Well, uh, you received uh, in your packet um, our brochure for Perrycraft Incorporated, and um, and I'm Don my name is Donnie McCall. I'm the owner of Perrycraft, uh, the president. My wife is in charge, just so you know that. But uh, <laughs> we're located at 1549 U.S. Highway 21 South, which is the old uh, Allegheny Chevrolet building up there. Um, it was founded in 1982. Uh, it was in Winston-Salem. Uh, the name Perrycraft came from the original owner of the business. Uh, his name was Perry Weir. And um, it's a proven longevity with his company. He's 36 years old at this point. Uh, he was actually the very first producer of the aluminum tailgate guard on pickup trucks. And then as plastic came along and, and uh, tailgates got a little bit different sized and that kind of thing, uh, they moved on. We are eight brands strong. Um, um, we have award-winning ownership. I've won several awards for uh, design and innovation with uh, the Invisirac that I brought to market. And uh, we have a lot of production versatility within our products. Um, this is a list of our manufactured lines. Um, Aventura, uh, Contempo, Dynasport, uh, the LPS, MTR, Sport Quest, and Sport Trek. And what these are are different kind of uh, formulations to some of the same things. So what we produce are original equipment looking at roof racks and roof rails and that sort of thing. So our Aventura rack, this a certain style is, is similar to a lot of uh, factory style racks that are out there. Uh, we produce in a couple of different colors, start, start as silver and black. This particular one, because of the, uh, the configuration are the rails and the crossbar, so it's considered a rack whereas the Aventura roof rails are basically just sands and crossbars. Um, this, kind of like gutters on a house, it, it gives a, an enhancement to a vehicle uh, outside of a base model, that sort of thing that people want to do, and uh, provide, provides a good base for people that want to put crossbars on uh, to carry canoes, kayaks, uh, bikes, ladders, those kind of things, and also then can move uh, the same type setup basically for truck bed rails as well. Um, and then there's a Contempo brand, which are grab handles that uh, the stainless steel, U.S. stainless steel uh, that we use out of um, uh, Salisbury, where we get our stainless steel from. These come in different sizes, but our versatility going with the on any of these, we can cut down to any size as necessary, or or, or uh, can't stretch it, but we can take long pieces and cut them to, to length as, as necessary. Our second main brand line is called Dynasport, and similar to Aventura. Um, it's an era, it's a an original equipment looking style rack, uh, black and, and uh, bright dipped anodized, uh, not a chrome plate, but a bright dipped anodized, anodized that actually uh, melts to the aluminum. Um, and as it says, over 100 stock sizes available because we're a length uh, and width. We're not vehicle specific, we're we're size specific. So we can, uh, if you've got a van and you want to put something on and we don't have it in stock, we can certainly make it if it needs to go on. Uh, we could almost make one go on four wheeler even, but <laughs> um, and then similar along the lines here, the, the roof rails are just minus the crossbars as well as truck bed rails as well. Uh, we do a, a line called LPS low profile slotted bed rails that are one piece aluminum anodized um, tempered that comes in several different lengths to whether you have a uh, whatever length of the truck bed that you have. Um, MTRs are mini tube rails. This again is uh, American stainless steel tubing that we use um, with supports that come on in, di in, in, in four different styles that we have from the Bullet Express, Impact, and Torpedo. And uh, our Sport Quest line is more of a utility slash outdoors type rack that would go particularly well on like camper shells, Jeep tops. Uh, can go on, uh, goes on quite a few vehicles as well. It's got a 180 pound load rating uh, with the size of bars that it is, very easy to attach any other accessories. It gives a good flat load platform if you know you're going to carry canoes, kayaks, ladders, lumber, that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's a very popular and, and, uh, and versatile rack. 
It can also be in a formulation where it's just instead of the rails running front to back, it can we have a system where it's just pad feet. So that's actually our ultimately most versatile system because you can put these on anything as long as you can as long as you can screw them down. You can put them on a trailer. Um, I've even seen where people hang them on the wall so that they can hang <laughs> clothes on. For that matter, it's it's a uh, it's very versatile. Um, our clamp mount, again, another thing we manufacture that if you already have rails on the side of our, uh, our, our, our roof rails, these can span across to be able to give, a, to give a load platform. And these can work on factory style crossbars as well as our, our own. Um, and our final rack is our Sport Trek roof rack and a, and a similar factory style where we're able to use the tracks from the Sport Quest, the crossbars from what the Aventure and Dynasport use to create another brand. So we're able to kind of move around and really the only difference being the, uh, the feet that, that slide along the rails there. We are also the U.S. distributor for a brand called Mont Blanc. Um, they are out of uh, Sweden and we, we distribute their add-on load bars, their bike carriers, uh, ski and snowboard carriers, and their load stops. And uh, in 2001, this relationship came to, came to be long before I became a part of the company, but um, their crossbars are uh, industry-leading 220-pound load rating, better than Thule and Yakima for one thing, um, and they uh, fit really nicely on our, our own manufactured lines, so it worked out well to be a, a good relationship that way. Um, and it includes two bars, locks and keys already included, and, and actually that was where uh, the, the, the second owner of the business, Dan Efting, who I bought the company from, my wife and I bought the company from, um, he, um, he kind of got this relationship going and actually created something to where it, uh, it put it in as a package. If you, if you know Yakima and Thule at all, you know that you have to kind of build their products and it ends up being $500 where this is all one unit and, and costs quite a bit less. But we also have bicycle carriers, a, a, a classic style and a, uh, the Barracuda brand is very popular uh, in that you can put the bike in there, remove your hands, and be able to do all the strapping down and that kind of thing. Um, ski and snowboard carriers as well. A couple of different sizes with these where, uh, depending on how many is in the family and how many wants to ski or who just wants to hang out at the lodge. But, um, and we have a supplemental hardware pack. Any of our racks are, the hardware pack that comes with them comes to attach to sheet metal roofs. Um, but we also have this supplemental hardware pack that works with um, whether it's a camper shell, tonneau cover, plastic composite roofs, those kind of things, or with like bands that you have access to the to uh, there's no with a, with no headliner. So all of our products are mounted without having to remove the headliner unless it's something specifically that you want to. And this would be our hardware uh, kit to be able to do that. So. Um, we distribute around the country. We're, uh, it's a, um, uh, our next thought process and, and what we're planning right now is that uh, eventually within this next first, first or second quarter of next year to actually have installs done and by appointment to be able to, uh, uh, to install our racks around, uh, around here. We put an ad in the uh, upcoming Chamber of Commerce um, magazine and uh, Taking a step out into a foray because right now we don't require we're, we're we're not relying on retail or anything like that within Allegheny County, but um, we also recognize that people will leave the county to go get something. So if we can provide a service, then we're also going to try to do that. I know that went 35 minutes, but I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot to cover. Uh, yeah. That's good. We appreciate that. decorative stuff and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature, so I think that goes well for you. And, and as you move forward, if uh, there's anything we can do here at the county to, to possibly help you future growth or anything, please don't hesitate. Okay, I'll I appreciate it. Anybody else got any comments, questions? Donnie, how many, do you have several employees, any employees? Well, there's four employees, but that includes my wife and myself. Uh, we have one full-time and one part-time right now. And um, as, as efficient as those guys are, we're probably still only operating at about 40% capacity of what we could do. So, you know, sales, sales cures all ills, as they say, in a lot of ways. So uh, I'd love to increase our sales 
it would take a while that before I necessarily need another person uh, if sales did increase. Um, but certainly would look to uh, to change that. I've been meeting uh, Mr. Cavney, and I uh, brought a, he brought a guy from the EDPNC uh, Economic Development people, and we're gonna, we're talking about we we export as well to. Uh, we have a couple of customers, um, one in Denmark, and um, and want to grow that expansion as well for the exporting of U.S. goods out. All of our stuff, all of the Perrycraft brand stuff, is manufactured in the United States. So our aluminum comes out of Ohio our and, and Charleston, South Carolina, and um, our plastics come out of Florida from the tools that we have in those places. Since there's not aluminum extruder or plastic injection molds in uh, companies in Allegheny County, which would be great if there were, um, but uh, but that's where our tools are sitting. But we, we use U.S. goods uh, throughout all the manufactured products that you, that Perrycraft makes. How do you market, Donnie? Excuse me. How do you sell? How do you market? We mostly do advertising in in the in the uh, what's called the big books from our distributors and uh, and our brochures, which are new this year, have been sent out to a lot of retailers around the country and direct relationships that we have. Um, it's an old website that we have. It's functional, but that's that's my next goal is to is to revamp the website and be able to do a little more social marketing with it and that kind of thing. And ultimately, to for people to recognize that there's there's um, that there's a need, um, and you know whether it's for looks only or if it's for uh, utility, then uh, we basically set the base. We have the base that for anything else you want to do for the top of your vehicle. Do, do you do anything with the boating industry, or is it just all, all It's all automotive, automotive um, just because it's it's just a it's just the market that we're in. I mean, there's the boating market, there's the automotive aftermarket, and there's the outdoor market. And what I'm what I'm actually trying to go into next is the outdoor market. Um, again, with through the EDPNC talking with them, they have a booth set up in Salt Lake City, <coughs> North Carolina companies, and um, which that show is the first week or first middle of January 10th through the 12th in Salt Lake City, and uh, most likely I'll be I'll be uh, taking a spot in, in North Carolina's booth and going out to Salt Lake City this coming week to try to push us more into the outdoor market because they don't really coexist or they don't really uh, cross over one another. Uh, the boating market doesn't cross over with the automotive. Automotive doesn't cross over the outdoor. And, um, and I think something with Ferrycraft, uh, we have that ability, at least with the Mont Blanc brand, because it is a global brand. They, um, um, they kind of fight it out with Thule over in Europe, where Yakima and Thule fight it out in the US. But um, uh, I think it's a market that we can certainly grow. And with EDP and C, uh, the economic development, that, uh, that we're already seeking those opportunities that, uh, that the state can, can help us along. Uh, at least put us in places that, that uh, get us set up to go forward. Do you sell to the three local auto parts? We are a part of that. Uh, Keystone Automotive is one of our major distributors, and so um, we're in the books that all of those three have. Um, and uh, But there's not been a whole lot of local because there's not an install shop, for one thing. So that's, that's where I think our growth potential locally is to, uh, is to offer um, at least our accessories, and as well as others that maybe Keystone or, or Meyer, some of our distributors uh, provide. That if if somebody wants to come in and get a set of step bars and roof rails, then then uh, we don't want to put the roof rails on and send them away to get the step bars. We can also get the step bars in, or mud flaps, or LED lights, or radios, or those kind of things. So it'll be a it's a it's an experiment, but it's something that you know I'm very confident of, of the product and and. We've installed a few there at this point already, and uh, I know it's something that, that it could be a, a service, and if uh, and it doesn't take away from our core business to be able to provide something like that, that um, uh, we could initially start that with appointments and then potentially have actual store hours. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing that with us. Our, all of our businesses are invaluable, large, small, mm -hmm. in between. So, yeah. wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.